Welcome back to part two of this South Texas hunting series. What an incredible place we're at, guys. Uh, if you missed part one, we're trying to hunt some white-tailed deer. Uh, we've met up with the ranch owner and one of his friends that my dad knows he's letting us hunt out here. And we're just seeing some really nice deer. And our friend Art already got two big bucks. We're on our second day and we're doing a little bit of exploring on the ranch again. And we found some old homesteads, some old uh, tools made for making different types of grain and food processing. And we've even gone to one of the nearby lakes that I heard had some bass in it. So I had to break out a bass rod. As the afternoon creeps in, we're getting some high winds. We're getting some drizzle. It's overcast. It's getting a little bit colder. It just feels like animals are going to be moving around and it's time to head out again. Getting ready to head out. Dad is pumped. So dad's actually going to take his, uh, his dad's 30 aught six. And, uh, She's an antique. It is, this, this gun is awesome, but it's a little sketchy past 100. Um, Dad's gonna be hunting with Art, who already got two deer this morning, and he's also got a, a backup longer range rifle. But you both you both have 30-06. Yep. That's pretty cool. That's the old, the old school way. And uh, we got him hooked up with a bino harness. Dad forgot his binos this morning, said we can't be doing that, so hooked him up with the Bucks bino harness. Got your, uh, I think you got some Vortex binos in there. So you'll be set now. You look at them, get the old short stack on them. Boom! Just be ready for that mule kick. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be celebrating with uh, at least one deer back here tonight. So I'm doing something a little different. I'm gonna go solo back to the junkyard where me and dad sat uh, in the last video. But now, bow, rifle, combo. So we had deer, we had javelinas, they were, some were coming in close. Uh, of course, the bigger ones, they were staying far out. I wanna make sure that I don't miss an opportunity on a giant deer. It's tricky inside of that, that box blind to shoot that bow. I'm gonna have to finagle. We're gonna have to figure it out as we go, but I'm doubling down. Two weapons of buck destruction. just me in here now so my dad and art are gonna be together this is part of the show that you guys really don't see that much it's how do i film how do i film this by myself got a lot of angles got a lot of stuff to figure out i'm gonna go ahead and just chamber one
much. That's so cool to see those feathers just smash down and all red. I love that. It'd be cool if I got two, but that's what happened. It hit the pig's vitals really far forward. I think the first one I hit it a little back, but the second one was like right on the money. Really low, maybe a hard shot. <sighs> Guys, I tell you what, that iron will going through two javelinas and getting getting drug around in the dirt. That thing is still a razor. <sighs> Got it done with a bow. That was a great test to see. Uh, how I was going to film that, I was worried about this window because there's really nowhere for me to set up the camera and film that way, set it up. Uh, it, I'm just going to be in the way of the shot. It was incredibly hard. I tried, but it didn't work out. I got plenty of room in here to spread out, so that was nice. I could, I could scoot back over here, adjust. I actually had to put my shooting pad up under me to raise me up a little bit so I wouldn't hit the window. So <laughs> a lot of logistics um, with trying to get up a bow shot in here, but it worked out. I'm, I'm going to get a block before I leave here of some sort. Whether it's a, a spike or a giant, I don't know, but there's going to be meat in the cooler, I assure you. I haven't seen any deer. It's prime time. My dad just texted me. I think they have some does over there, which is good. One thing that I'm already putting into my mind here is that uh, a bow shot's going to be extremely difficult in this wind. It's already it's already hard to get the right angles with being in this blind. The, the wind is, is blowing like 20 to 30. This area sought out for putting windmills in. This place has windmills on it because of all the, the gusty winds that come through here. The giant buck we saw this morning, it was out at 200 yards. It only gave us about five seconds. Really didn't have a shot at all, so We stay in tuned, stay focused, you stay tuned. Still the little guy. God, he would 
He looks so wide straight on. I thought for a second that was him. You want to talk about stank, javelinas, they stank. This is a little guy right here. This is the only one I was able to recover. It's actually a little male. Got her done, but no buck activity tonight, guys. Time is running out. I have given myself a little opportunity. Wanted to get dad, dad an opportunity to uh, try to get the biggest deer of his life. Um, and I wish I, I wish I could have more time down here, but we're, we're down to the last uh, 24 hours basically so we got to get it done I, I, just re I really want to see my dad get a big one so you guys stay tuned good morning and welcome to the final day dad are you ready I'm ready are you popped I've had my motivational speech yes you have I've had a good night's sleep okay I'm, I'm ready to go all right kill mode dad and I are taking the rifles we're gonna switch it up today I'm gonna go somewhere we haven't hunted that they haven't hunted in a long time. I'm just like, give me, let's just take a random chance. Flipping the coin right here, last day. We went and looked at it last night. Big old lanes, it's sitting like an, on an old pipeline. So we're kind of going into the unknown. May not see anything, but I'm wanting to risk it for the biscuit this morning uh, for big old buck on the spot that no one's hunted in years. We are in the blind, ladies and gentlemen. Uncharted territory. It has started to rain. I'm actually in the blind with, with Hector, the owner, and he hasn't hunted here in a very long time. So we have no idea what's gonna come out today. But it could be a giant. So hopefully if this rain will let up, birds will start chirping. Bucks will start moving. That buck is walking away, but he looks big. It's just too dark, I can't tell. Earth. 
Why on earth did that have to happen? He's probably lost. All right, <clears throat> we'll see what happens now. There's a deer coming out already. And we just had a truck roll through here. Spoke off some of the deer, so we're coming back now. And we just heard a rifle shot. So. another buck grunt over here. It's a decent buck. Yeah. Deep, deep. Very thick. Chasing hard. He's all up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's gonna pull up right here. Yeah. Big body. There's your chance. It's a nice buck. Look at that. Sweet buck. side. Oh my gosh, that was 
crazy. It was. And I was like, what are you trying to do? Dude, I know. That's I had to thank God it was here, dude. But God, yeah, I can't see, see, see where. Arrest him. You see the shot or what? Arrest him. Shot over him. Oh, you see the shot go over? Mm hmm. Had him dead to rights out this window. And I was just waiting for the other deer to move away from behind him so I didn't shoot the other deer. He was running. I tried to stop him. We're about to get a look at my dad's deer. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm so pumped for my dad. My dad's never had an opportunity in a big buck like that in his life. I guarantee you, he's, he's like a kid right now. We identified him coming down. He had a couple of does in front of him. And then there was a nice buck came out. And then the Mondo came out. And uh, Art kind of guided me through it, but we got him down. He's my biggest yeah. ever. I actually, I'm, I'm not confident in, uh, in my shot. So it's, we're gonna play it right now. yeah, we're gonna, we're about to get down and go find out. Like the, the deer looked like it kind of buckled when I shot it, but I felt good, like I was on him, squeezed. Oh, well, guys, this is the moment of truth. We're getting down. Hopefully, uh, we've got blood. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. <laughs> down at the end of this cactus. Blood. We have blood. We have blood. <laughs> we have blood. That looks like lung blood. Is it like a lung shot? No? Yeah, that looks like lung blood. Here we go. Hector, Hector, we got good blood. Hector, we got good blood. It's looking good, Hector. Come on, baby. Didn't miss. Oh, it's right here. It goes in here. Oh, you see it here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's here. This guy's tough. There he is. There he is, Hector. There he is, baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh yeah, no, we drilled him. We drilled him. Man, look at that block, man. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy cow. That block came in. I thought we were gonna have all the time in the world, Hector. I was like, this is gonna be beautiful. We're just gonna wait for him to kind of turn. And then the, the trigger just flipped in his head. He said, I got to chase does. And he took off and it was a rodeo inside of the blind to get in position. Hector luckily was able to uh, get over, scooch over to the right and uh, still get him on camera. Excited to have him, man. All right, we got old Mr. 10 out here on the road. We're getting picked up. I cannot wait to see my dad's deer, y'all. This is a, uh, an awesome management deer, believe it or not. Uh, Hector wanted to take this one because it's not very wide. Like you'll see some of the other deer are extremely wide out here. Uh, amazing deer for me, so I'm pumped. That's my biggest one ever! Woo! Yay! 
There you go, man. Look at this deer. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, Dad. That deer might be bigger than you are. Hey, well, I don't know about that. I'm pretty got. I got some good tonnage on me, but. Look at that buck, man. Look at those mule ears. Love them. Golly. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! I, your motivational speech has paid off. You know? <laughs> Justin last night says, Dad, dream about killing a deer tonight. All right. Be focused in the morning. That is awesome. Guys, an amazing buck. Look, just look at the body. So I think mine's probably about five years old. This buck looks like it's grandpa, like it's 10 years old. Look at the chest. Perfect shot too. You shot it from this side? Yeah, thank you. Perfect shot, LFD, <laughs> man. There were does all around us. Art says, hey, Calvin, I think your deer just arrived. He He's walked 100 there. yards, it's all, all right? Wow. Straight at me so I couldn't get a shot. Yeah, yeah. And cool. then he stopped. The ears went up and I went, oh, he's going to bolt. Yep. He turned a little sideways and Art goes, take it. Boom. Did you get him on camera? Sorry, it was it was too dark. No, foggy. It was serious? foggy. It was foggy. Awesome. Let's, let's get a double photo, man. We're not going to have two deer this big ever no, again never, in our lives. Oh, well, Dad, did you have a good hunt today? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's our that's our two bucks right there, man. You could just tell. Literally, your, I think your your deer is twice as old as this deer. This one is uh, it's quite narrow, but you know, still a really good buck. The son, smaller oh, buck. Old guy, bigger guy. Bigger got, buck. got grandpa. That's an awesome, awesome deer. We're gonna get some great cuts off these bad boys too, and take them back to uh, the Rackley household to consume and enjoy the rest of the year. Yeah, it does. <laughs> My gosh, man. This is, this is the neck. I mean, look at the neck. Hey. It's huge. And that, my outdoor friends, is how we end this chapter in me and my dad's outdoor adventure and buck hunting. I got to give a special thanks to Hector and Art for showing us an experience in South Texas in a big way. Walking away with my dad's biggest buck of his life and myself with an incredible white-tailed deer as well. Despite all the cactus and the rough terrain, this place just felt like a home away from home. And it reminded me of how big and diverse the Lone Star State really is. So thank you for tuning in to this special outdoor adventure with me and my dad. And stay tuned for more adventures to come. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys back in the great outdoors on the next one.